I'm back with another I tried a natural hair tutorial and this is going to be the mini twist by Brie Hall so stay tuned <laughs> hi everyone welcome back to my channel um you guys know what time it is when you see this hair like this <laughs> it's time for a natural hair tutorial but actually i'm going to be trying a natural hair tutorial from um brie hall one of my fellow youtubers she's one of my favorites when it comes to natural hair um she's what i call a definite natural hair guru and she's been doing hair tutorials for like the last two to three years so I wanted to do her twist video because I've never done twist on my natural hair like that except for when it's twist out but I've never done like um two strand twist on my natural hair back in the day like in college and in high school I used to love the um two strand twist or if in the south they call them kinky twist so I wanted to do some on my natural hair now it has gotten a little longer so woo, we don't know mm -hmm. I'm gonna actually attempt to follow with her tutorial. So that's what time it is. <laughs> her skin is so amazing. Like, oh god, I gotta get some chemical peels to get on that level, okay? This is what she used. She has the shea butter. I don't have that homemade shea butter, but she has I have a whole new this video is featuring uh shea moisture on the low. They did send me a bunch of new products. But this is not sponsored because they did not pay me. They just sent them and I already purchased this. I've always purchased this line. I have several of their products and this is almost gone. So well, it was halfway through. So I'm not gonna use the new one that they sent. I'm just gonna use the old one. So she did use the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I do already have the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So I'm gonna use, I'm not gonna use the brand new one. Cause I, I just hate opening new products. Like I hate when like people have like, juice in the refrigerator and then they can open the new one when there's one that's like halfway full like why would you do that that is so irritating so i actually have the entire shea moisture coconut hibiscus line i even have the body sugar scrub it is amazing and it doesn't have like the toxic chemicals in it and i have this too so this is the strength and restore leave-in conditioner so we're just going to use all of this and for sheen i'm going to use the dugro oil because my edges have kind of fallen out on this side recently, so girl, we just gone. Um, before we, you know, conduct the funeral, we're gonna just try to resuscitate and everything like that. So let's see what she does first. Looks like she's just applying water. I'm ready for a husband. You wore off on me now. Bye, girl. Whew, how this hair is so dry and dust. I'm not really sure if this is like the best brush. So comment below if this is a real demon brush, cause yeah. All right, so we're gonna start with the bottom. Cause she already had her hair like already, oh my goodness. Ooh, ooh, already done. This nail polish is starting to chip and it's, don't you hate when your nail polish chips and it snags everything, like every follicle of hair that you have. That's so annoying. Woo, girl, get him, get him. Do you guys know that that song is from, like, well, that's actually from a song. Like, I never realized that Nene was singing that song. The ghetto, talking about the ghetto. That's hilarious, like, she just was saying it, though. Bear with me. Okay, let's wet it first, because that's obviously the first step in every hair tutorial. And I did just move into a new apartment, so that's why the sound is, like, echoey, I'm sorry. And then just finger, finger twirl. Okay. Right. She's so stupid. She said just finger it and <laughs> then finger twirl. Nasty self. Shea moisture. Oh, Shea moisture smells so good. Like I, I know that I know that you guys hate Shea moisture, but I'm sorry. I like it. It smells good. Let's get this together. Yikes. It, it's gotten longer though. Do you guys remember when I cut my hair this past April? Like, it has grown back. Eee. All right, now I'm gonna try, like she said, the Jamaican black castor oil. Um, this is just the leave-in. Now this stuff was amazing. If you guys watched my October favorites video, which was one of the last favorites videos that I did, this stuff is amazing for my hair. Like at first when I was putting, putting it on there, it didn't seem like it was making a difference. 
but it made my hair so strong and I really didn't even have to clip my ends. Like, not seriously though. And it was like six months, so I was really shocked. And it stayed in my hair, like it was really moisturized when I took my hair out after I had surgery and my auntie did my hair. All right, I'm gonna put a little gel. I hope it doesn't be crinkly. I can, you know, nasty little. I mean, how thin it is, it's gonna be. I guess I could braid it at the top and then, you know, twist it to keep it from shrinking. I think, I just have a bad feeling it's gonna shrink anyway. The trickiest part about doing these twist, twist outs or whatever is that you don't know, like, it looks small right here, but like once the, you know, once it dries, it's going to be much bigger and much thicker. Oh, it's starting to shrink already. Ooh, It's like all of the hard work that you put into your hair and then it just shrinks up like a whip. I was gonna say like a man, but you know. Okay, so what I started to do was to do them smaller. I mean, on this back first row, they were too big. I guess I didn't think about that as far as the parting, but then I ended up going back into it and separating them and then retwisting them in smaller sections so that I could get them to look full because it looked like I had a total of like five and a half braids on my head and that's not cute. And so I started here doing smaller sections and just going in with the same products, water, shea moisture, and then the gel. And I don't know, I thought it turned out to be better, but as you can see, my hair was like so dry and crusty and dusty. So I had to make these ugly faces to get it, you know, detangled. But that's basically what the struggle here is. Okay, so I'm back and I've done some stretching with some rubber bands, so hopefully they're gonna be longer, but this is what they look like on one side. You know, um, not gonna lie, I look really childish. Like if I were to go up to a guy and be like, hi, how are you? He's gonna be like, how old are you, first of all, okay? And so, you know, I tried to do them smaller too. I, I redid some in the back. So um, I'm gonna try to like go ahead and stretch them. Put them in a ponytail right now. I'm about to cook some more pasta or eat some more pasta from last night and take my epitome so I can go to sleep and get up on time for church. Cause I have to sing in the choir tomorrow. And I have to wear all white. Ooh. I feel like this one is better. This is a cute style. Well, it, yeah. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. uh, maybe I should. Oh, that's because I did it closer. Okay. Oh, man. Boom. So we're going to try to do these baby hairs. Like that. I really just don't care. I'll comb it. That's exactly who I legit look like. I look like a Wendy's girl. You want a fall for five? Like that's literally how I look. That's how the girls, the little ghetto girls be. You want a fall for five? I'm just playing. But that's how they be here. I be like, sister, sister. It took me so long to figure out what a fall for fall was. I was getting so mad at everybody in the world. I was like, what is a fall for fall? Like, what is that? A four for four? Like, get your money. All right, so I'm back and it is a day or so afterwards. And this is what it looks like after I've taken them down. I still feel like they aren't like stretched, stretched. And you can see the parts are like, I don't know. Like they aren't, they aren't that big, but I, I feel like I don't have enough hair. Like I can tell that Brie has way more hair. So of course 
the more dense your hair is, the thicker um, the twist will be. I don't know, comment below if you think that this was a fail or a pass. Did I copy her? Did I do the hairstyle right? What do you guys think? It's crinkly. And it, it doesn't feel like I have hair in the back. Like, look how it feels. Like, look how it looks in the back. Maybe I should have done a part right here. I should have just separated these two or whatever. But I just feel like even if I were to do it like a style, even if I did a style or something, like, look how short my bum tail would be. Like this is so no, but it's just there. It's just not enough of them. I think I should have done them smaller, or the parts smaller. But I don't know. They look thin, and I look, I look like a little twist. I look like a little boy. I don't know. Comment what you guys think. Like I wouldn't even know how to style these. But let's see. Okay, that's kind of cute. That's cuter. But I still look mad childish. So I just hope you guys understand why I don't wear like a lot of these types of hairstyles. It's not because I hate my hair or anything like that, but I just, I look like Charmaine from the Cosby's. Charmaine! No, the little girl from Lean On Me. That's her, yeah, Charmaine. I just, like, this is just not it. <laughs> and Brie was all cute talking about some looking all cute and here I am looking all dusty looking like low dog from um no old dog from Minutes to Society <laughs> like I was you know if you guys have watched the Bad Girls Club there's this girl named Talon and her hair was legitimately this long so I don't understand how she had her hair in a bun like that like she had all her twists up like this and she, let's see how she did that she had it like, why are they so short and ski? These are so ski. I just cannot take this. Girl, I look like Roger. Go home, Roger. Roger from Sister Sister. She had a, a nice cute bun and it was like this. And she, maybe that's how she did it. And she had it like this. And that was it. Okay, so guys, that's it for the video. Comment below any questions or suggestions for me. And thanks for watching.